hello and welcome to the video. So today, if you couldn't tell already, we're doing creative portrait photography. Now, you guys absolutely love the style of the last video, so I've decided to do something very similar. So when looking at the idea of this video, it came around when I watched the video from Seventh Era with a photo competition. Now, this competition's theme was alone, and I knew that I had to give it a shot. My original idea was to go out into the Peak District, but due to logistics, I decided to change my mind and I went to Thetford Forest, just outside Norfolk. Now, I've shot at this location before, and I absolutely love it. Because it's a man-made forest, all the trees are very symmetrical. So when you're looking at the compositions of the photo, it's an absolute gem. When going into this shoot, what I really wanted to get one shot with the drone above the head looking down at the model. And I also wanted another one using smoke bombs and LED lights to create some sort of like misty haze with like some creepy LED look with it. With this in mind, I knew that I had to be at the location at dusk. So we left at around 12 o'clock and we made our way to Theft Forest. So when we got to the location, as you can see, there's just trees everywhere and we decided that we needed to try and find our key location to where we wanted to do the shoot. Now, like I said, we've been there before, so we knew roughly the area that we wanted to go. So me and Joe and Joel, we all went over to this location. Fortunately for us, we remembered the exact way to go. So as we were walking there, we found this amazing spot. We took the drone up just so we could see the variety and the land and how big this forest really is. When we walked around the corner, we found the symmetrical trees. As you can see, it's just a perfect row of them. And this is where we knew that we were going to shoot. With the first shoot, what I wanted to do is keep it simple. Because there was still daylight, I just wanted to get Joel, the model, just to stand there and to take some normal photos. Now, I used a 70-200 and also 24-70, so I had a wide range of photos. I had some zoomed in on the face and some wide shots so you could see more of the trees as well. It's a dog barking. I don't know if you can hear it. So after we did all the first photos with him there, what we decided to do is add a smoke bomb. Now I had a massive variety of smoke bombs, had loads of different colors, some lasted longer than others, but what we decided to do is go with a green one first. Now this was a bit of a test run because we had no idea if it was contrast too much against all the greens in the forest, but it worked quite well. So when we opened it and used it, what I got Joel to do is walk through the smoke. Now, if I didn't get him to do it, I just wouldn't see him at all. And it kind of looks like it engulfs and goes around him, which looks quite sick. As well as this, when you crop into some of the photos, it can make it look like it's just smoke, or you can keep it wide so you can have a bit of the forest in it as well. After this, we saw an opportunity. Because the smoke got taken away with the wind, and it thinned out quite a lot. When we turned to the right, it looked like there was a low mist in the forest. So what we did was quickly move Joel over there and we took some more photos. Now, this was something that I didn't really think of, but because of how thin it was, that was the style that I wanted because it has that creepy look. So with that in mind, I knew that for the rest of the day, after we used the smoke bombs, we had to quickly move over because that's like the side that I preferred. Next up, what we did is move a little bit over to the next row of trees and there were a lot more ferns there. Now in the first row, there were just a little bit, but that's kind of what I wanted. So what we did, moved over to the next one and we used the next smoke bomb. Yeah. So maybe do some lower and then hold it like slowly high. And then when you see it like coming up, walk through it, but like not too fast. I'll get you to wear this for this one. Yeah. Let's get to a shoot. So we're going white, yeah? <laughs> it's like a review video. Like... Micro smoke! <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do it. I'll go. Right, so he's in the white one. <laughs> well, I'm going to be in there, I think. Yeah. And then you can sort of move into that space, can't you? Yeah. Are you set? So as it comes up, I'll walk forward. Yeah. Now, with this smoke grenade, it was one of the smaller ones, and this was the first time we used one of the small ones, and it pretty much went instantly. It didn't last nearly as long as the green one, but we got some good photos, so it worked quite well. So after this little shoot, we decided to get the LED lights out. Now, this was one of the main things I came here for, and following some of my previous shoots where I've been using LEDs, oh, I've just absolutely fallen in love with them. So what we did was grab two red ones, and we moved just to the left, so it had a little bit of a different background and it wasn't so even throughout the forest. When we were using the lights, I wanted to use it on the left side of the face. We used one as a rim light, but because of how dark it was getting, we actually moved one around to the other side of the left as well. So it ended up having one here and then just one back here. And it ended up looking quite cool and I liked it. With the posing, what I've gotten to do is something quite chilled, something 
something quite casual because uh, the theme of the whole video was alone and that's what I wanted and just in case I got some shots I didn't really want him to smile much throughout the video just very like neutral looks just looking around hands in the pockets now moving on what we wanted to do next was to get him sitting somewhere now ideally there would have been a massive log and like a bottom of a tree trunk but we found a fallen over tree and we decided yeah, that that was going to be our next shoot location so from the last shoot with Keenan, when I used this green LED light and got some of these photos, I knew that I really wanted to use the green LED light again. And as well with the green forest, it couldn't have worked better. So what we did is we grabbed one of the LED stands and we put it just in the bush, just a little bit behind him. And I got Joe to hold the other one. Now what I did was I wanted to get close ups and in portrait. I didn't really want any landscape shots. This was more of like a personal one. This wouldn't be anything that I'd submit to the competition, but uh, I knew that I just wanted to get some photos here and I was still using the ProMist filter as well. Next up, what we did was we went back to the row of trees that was perfectly symmetrical and we got the red LED lights and we put them on the floor below him. Now, this was quite a different style and I've never really done anything like this, but with them shining up, it creates quite a creepy look. Now, when editing these photos, I toned down all the reds, but it was just enough to add a little bit extra to the photo. To then add to this, to get the photo that I wanted from the start, what we did was yeah. we grabbed the red smoke grenade. Now, what I wanted to do is have the red smoke grenade quite low so that you could see the light coming through it and it's kind of like a creepy like Star Wars look. Uh, but because of the wind taking it away, we didn't have that much control. What I did was get Joe to kind of like sweep it. So he'd go like head to toe and get Joel to walk back and forth. But sometimes we ran through issues of him stepping over the light um, and the smoke just disappearing as well. And after the photos were taken in this like straight, we got him to run back into the forest where he was just in the mist in like the creepiness. And I got some of my favorite photos here. So the next creative idea we had was to use the drone. Now we hadn't used the drone much yet. We got some shots of behind while I'm shooting, but we really wanted to get a sick photo with it. So what we did was we sent the drone up in the sky and we got Joel to lay down on the floor. Yeah. Now with the whole theme being alone, this looked amazing because all the shrubbery, having the drone up there, you couldn't see anything else. Now we tried to do some things with the lights, having the drone a bit lower, having the drone a bit higher, but the perfect height was pretty much like halfway through the trees and we didn't end up using the lights because it kind of ruined the photo a little bit and then when editing I could have like quite a nice vignette just to make it like focused on him and kind of look like he's in a hole in a way. All in all these are some of my favourite photos and I feel like I don't use my drone enough for photography uh, so I definitely need to start using it a little bit more. After this miraculously the light just got a, a lot brighter. We thought it was pretty much there was going to be no sunset at all but there ended up being one. So what we did was we moved around to the next location where we found quite a nice spot for Joel to sit. Unfortunately, there was a lot of sap on this tree that we didn't know at the time, <laughs> but uh, as we were doing the photos here, we turned around and there was this incredible sunset. So to use this to our advantage, although it wasn't originally in the plan, we turned around, we did another little photo shoot here. I got him to pose and lean on the tree, something that we hadn't done at all this shoot, um, just with the sunset in the background and the colors were incredible. What I did as well is I used the 70s 200 mil because it just makes that background a little bit blurrier. Oh shit. I've got sap all over my arm. He's got shit on his ass. <laughs> got it. <laughs> Wait, I'll give me a song. Like one, homies. This is the. Uh, I don't know <laughs> what number this was. This video is probably the hundredth video I've done. And he's like, you're like the mic guy. Yeah. On the mic, light, camera, everything. <laughs> yeah, Behind the scenes and everything. <laughs> Actually, my ass is kind of dried out. It now. says 30 it's seconds. Anymore. So we then moved on to the last shoot. Now with this one, what I wanted to do is use two different LED colors. So we used my two favorite colors, we used blue and pink, and it worked an absolute treat. By using one of them as a rim light and one slightly more forward, it just added to the photo. <laughs> and by using uh, the colors in the background and by using the sky with a Pro Mist filter on, it just made the photo so moody and just perfect. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> See? Now, Joel and Joe absolutely smashed the shoot. Thank you, Joe, for helping do all the BTS, 
do you and all the smoke grenades helping with equipment so thank you very much and Joel thank you so much for modeling as well you absolutely smashed it um, but yeah I think the shoot went amazing I definitely go back and I absolutely love the location as well um, if you want the location I'll put it in the description if you ever want to go there yourself uh, and overall I think it was a very successful shoot uh, if you guys like the style of this video please let me know and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later